The Illusion of Reality Exploring the Physical, Philosophical and Spiritual Worlds We perceive the world through our senses. It feels real and concrete. However, this perception of solidity is an illusion. Modern physics, along with ancient philosophical and spiritual traditions, suggests that reality is much more elusive than it appears. What we experience as solid objects are, at the atomic level, mostly empty space. Our senses present a useful but ultimately limited picture of a much grander and interconnected reality. From the smallest subatomic particles to the vast expanse of the cosmos, the universe operates according to laws that defy our everyday intuition. Quantum physics, in particular, has shattered our classical notions of cause and effect, revealing a reality that is fundamentally uncertain and probabilistic. The very act of observing, we learn, influences the observed, blurring the line between the observer and the observed. This challenges our understanding of objectivity. Is there an objective reality independent of our perception? Philosophers have grappled with this question for millennia. Plato's allegory of the cave, for example, suggests that we are like prisoners who mistake shadows on a wall for reality. René Descartes' famous maxim, I think, therefore I am, highlights the limitations of our senses and emphasizes the primacy of consciousness. Spiritual traditions around the world echo these ideas. The concept of Maya in Hinduism, for example, posits that the world we experience is a veil of illusion, hiding a deeper divine reality. Similarly, Buddhism speaks of sunyata, or emptiness, not as nothingness, but as the ground of all being, devoid of inherent existence. These traditions encourage us to look beyond superficial appearances and cultivate a deep understanding of the interconnectedness of all things. Remember to leave a like, subscribe and activate the bell. Don't forget to share. Physics reveals the elusive nature of reality. Let's delve into the heart of the matter. Atoms, once thought to be the indivisible building blocks of the universe, they are made up of even smaller particles. Protons, neutrons and electrons. These particles are not tiny billiard balls, but rather excitations of quantum fields. They exist in a constant state of flux and potentiality. The vast majority of an atom is empty space. If an atom were the size of a cathedral, the nucleus would be like a fly buzzing inside, and the electrons would be like tiny dust particles fluttering through the vast void. This void isn't passive. It's filled with quantum fluctuations, a sea of virtual particles that appear and disappear from existence. Quantum mechanics further challenges our classical intuitions with the uncertainty principle. We cannot know the position and momentum of a particle with perfect precision. This is not a limitation of our instruments, but a fundamental property of nature. The act of measuring one property inevitably affects the other. The famous double-slit experiment beautifully illustrates this wave-particle duality. When we are not observing which slit an electron passes through, it acts as a wave, passing through both slits simultaneously. But when we try to observe its trajectory, it collapses into a particle, passing only through a slit. This suggests that consciousness plays a fundamental role in shaping reality. Philosophy's Quest to Unmask Reality The nature of reality has been a central question in philosophy for centuries. Plato, in his Allegory of the Cave, argued that our senses can deceive us. He imagined prisoners chained in a cave, mistaking the shadows projected on the wall for reality. Only by freeing ourselves from the cave and ascending into the sunlight can we begin to perceive the true nature of things. Centuries later, René Descartes embarked on a quest for certainty. He realized that our senses could be deceived and that even our thoughts could be influenced by unconscious biases. His famous cogito, ergo sum, I think therefore I am, was his attempt to find an unshakable foundation for knowledge, rooted in the immediacy of conscious experience. Immanuel Kant, a key figure in modern philosophy, proposed that our minds do not passively receive information from the world, but actively construct reality based on our innate categories of understanding, 
such as space, time, and causality. We can never know the thing in itself, only the phenomenal world as it appears to us. These philosophical inquiries highlight the limitations of our perception and the importance of critical thinking. They invite us to question our assumptions and cultivate a healthy skepticism towards the reality that our senses and our minds present to us. Spiritual Perspectives on the Illusory Nature of Existence Spiritual traditions offer profound insights into the illusory nature of reality. In Hinduism, the concept of Maya describes the world as a veil of illusion. It's not that the world is unreal, but that our perception of it is limited and often erroneous. Maya is the power that creates the illusion of separation, obscuring the underlying unity of all things. Buddhism similarly speaks of sunyata, often translated as emptiness. This does not mean that nothing exists, but that all phenomena lack inherent existence. They arise interdependently in a constant state of flux and change. Clinging to the belief in a solid, independent self is a source of suffering, according to Buddhist teachings. Mystical traditions within Christianity also emphasize the illusory nature of the material world. They speak of a transcendent reality that can only be grasped through direct experience, often described as a state of union with the divine. This mystical union involves a dissolution of the ego, or sense of separate self, and an understanding of our interconnectedness with all creation. These spiritual teachings, although expressed in different languages and metaphors, converge on a common theme. The reality we perceive is a partial and limited reflection of a deeper, more interconnected reality. By cultivating awareness, compassion, and the willingness to look beyond superficial appearances, we can begin to pierce the veil of illusion and experience the true nature of existence.